everyone. I'm back here in Coco Kitchen. And uh, today menu is GB soup. We are about to make GB soup. So I got everything here. I'm about to show you. This thing will be doing it from scratch, okay? So come around, Miss Camera. This is the dry fish. This is the kuta fish. That's the pipe fish. I pour everything in water because I always tell you clean, clean, clean. This is dry chicken. And this is dry shrimp. Everything is in water because I gotta wash them. And this is the chicken, regular fresh chicken. And this is the small turkey neck. And here, what do I have in here? I got cow skin, I got chicken feet, I got fish, fresh fish, the blue fish. So I'm about to make GB soup right now. So stay with me, I'm gonna walk you through it, okay? How I make my GB soup. And these are all my season. As my video goes around, you will see this season, like in everything, because all the season are the same. And here is my hot pepper, okay? For the GB. You see this pepper is more because I'm doing a bigger part. You see my pot sitting here? And in here, this is not the, um, the bottle, but in here is the water that you will put in the GB. Bring it closer so they can see inside. This is what you will put in the GB soup to make it slumber. They call it water, okay? It from Liberia, West Africa. And here is my black pepper seed, the medigator pepper. This is the seed. It's gonna go in the GB soup too, but not now though, but I will show you a little. And this is the, the, the spice that will make it smell really, really good. Like it from your grandmother kitchen. So this is the spice. They call it Puebla. So if you go to the African store, Jello for Puebla, you will find Puebla. Okay? So we're gonna be we're gonna be working here seriously. That's the seasoning part going on here in the GB soup. Everything is cut nicely. The chicken is cut in a nice cube where you will just take it along with your GB and get it started with. The, um, the meat, the, like the seasoning part, we always seen it. You always see me season, season, season. But um, the meat thing that can go in the GB soup is everything on this table. So you see, sometimes if somebody tell you say GB soup is very expensive, the person is not lying because it is. You see everything that going in here. Like my other video, then you will see light stuff will go in there. It will just be few things. But for GB, you got to go like extra to do it because it's a special dish. It, it is a special dish from West Africa, Liberia. So everybody can just make it. It got to be special people like me. So... Let's watch the video as the video go around, okay? And don't forget, stay tuned. Watch, subscribe, share. Send me your comment on Facebook, Coco Gate, K O K O G A R T E R. If you got any comment, if you got any concern, you know, you can always inbox me. And uh, if you got any question, Maybe, for some reason, maybe you're not catching my accent because it's kind of a hard. Just inbox me. I will tell you what I'm saying. And um, this stuff, where you can get it from. For me, I can get most of my stuff from Liberia directly. My sister over there, she can send them to me. But you can find all these things I'm using here. You can find it in the African store. So nothing here strange that you cannot find in the store. Yes, you can. Okay, so let's watch this video and learn how to make 
GB soup. All right. That's a big cooking going on here. My pot is bigger, so everything in here is bigger. You can still do it little if you want. It don't have to be like my pot size, okay? So, the dry fish. I'm not gonna bother breaking the dry fish now. I will break it if it cook, then you will see how it is. So for now, I just left it like that. I put it there for it to boil. Because as the video go, I'm gonna be taking up everything and doing the real man or woman job. Okay? All right. Let's cook together, y'all. Every time you cook, you clean. Make sure you wash your stuff you cooking. Don't give up washing. You know, a whole lot of things could be happening inside. You don't know. All right? So, the, the dry chicken, the dry fish, the crawfish, Everything is pre-seasoned. The small turkey neck, that's why you see it. I didn't put it in the food to mess it up with it. I, I kept it, you know, last to put it there later. After my seasoning. Okay? And I told you yesterday, you might be asking, you said, but wait a minute, why she never, she never seasoned her for turkey neck? It's pre-seasoned. So you don't want to season it then it tend not to be salted okay all right we are cooking here small turkey neck is going in everything was in the refrigerator so it kind of go you see how i cut my stuff you don't want for gb you don't want to so leave your meat big and huge. No, it's just going to make your soup to look weird. So that's why I break all my, in fact, I cut my stuff, the turkey neck, even the chicken, I cut it very small because you want, when you eating the GB, you grab the meat and you put it behind the GB, you swallow it down. All right, that's how you eat it. That. All right, let us start is going on this. I pre season the fish, so you will not see me doing a lot of seasoning on here. Like I told you, I will tell you it in all my video season your food the way you want it, okay? The taste you want, that like the taste you make. Just how I want it. That's the fish. You don't want the fish to break after you're done cooking. So I want for my fish, my fresh fish, to be the first on time because after I cook everything, you're going to see me removing the fresh fish because I don't want it to disappear in the soup. And the only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour water in it and put it on the fire. I'm done with the major part, so it just remaining water. So stay tuned, watch this video, subscribe, and share. Jimmy Sue, will you forget yeah, Come closer. You see the pot? This is how everything has turned out to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, I show you this area. I show you the, uh, the the little seeds that make it smell good. And uh, the sesame seed. This is the sesame seed in here. They call it benesi. Now, what I did with it, I passed it along with the, uh, 
along with that seed that I show you earlier, the, the cola is inside. That's the little, little dye you see here. Now when I'm done with this one, I'm going to blend it and we will be making the GB soup, okay? So stay with me. You see everything in here is, is well and done. All I need to do is to take out the fish and you will see the rest of it going on, okay? Stay with me, let's go. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you love my channel, even if you don't like it, just subscribe. You're not going to hear, all right? Okay, we cooking. Okay, now, since it's ready, this is my magic behind the scene. That's my blender right here, y'all. You cook, you clean, you cook, you clean. Like you see around me, you ain't gonna see a lot of dirty dishes around because it's hands on, all right? And put everything to where you took it from. Lena is working. Do you have to show that, Mary? <laughs> I'm blending everything in here. And when I'm done with it, I'm gonna put a pepper, I'm gonna put some peanut butter, and everything inside for it to make the soup really, really the way you know it. All right? GP soup. All the way from LIV Queen. Share the video, don't forget. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on YouTube. Coco Garte. K-O-K-O-G-A-R-T-E-I -E and let's keep cooking, all right? I will walk you through as the video going. Okay, the GB soup, come on. Now, this is the barrico part, you see? The fish you saw today, what I did with it after I boiled it, I break it into little pieces and that's it there. And this is the fresh fish. It's cooked and looking at GB Super. Mm -hmm. You see it? This is GB Soup. But uh, we ain't done completely yet. But it's cooking. This is how your GB is supposed to look. With everything, with the uh, the benesi, the the seeds that I show you, the spice benesi is the uh, the sesame seeds. You see how we did it. So we call GB soup here. It's not there yet because we still gotta do the uh, the water part. So we gotta let it boil a little. Then we can do that. Wow. This soup that we all cook is good. Little salt is missing. I'm just going to do little salt and probably one chicken soup just to bring the taste up, okay? You saw the, um, from the previous season that I did, you saw it. That's the season still going on. I didn't add anything else. I didn't subtract. So, I'm going to do two cubes to bring my taste up to where I want it to be. Alright? That's how we call GB soup in Nima County, West Africa, Liberia. All the way from Queen. That's how we call GB soup. You see? Nobody cannot say no. They are full when you want them to eat this soup. They smell, they taste. Low season or okay. Now everything here is set now. But stay with me. How do you do it? And you don't break your fish. And why you're not putting the fish there? The fish is already cooked. So, 
putting it there is not anything major. Okay. Nice give you soup. Yes. I'm gonna put my dry fish there now. Everything here is cooked. Nothing fresh. The dry fish cooked. We all cook it earlier, you guys. When is it? So. All the juice got to go right back because it keeps raining. Come closer. You see? You see how the GP soup turning to be? Nice. And here my fish. Like I said, everything going back to where it came from in the pot. But th these are not fresh fish now though. Don't get it twisted. You saw it when we, we, we cut it earlier, everything was fresh and now it's cooked. So I'm only doing this because I want to save the fish. I don't want the fish to break. You know, when you eat your food, you want to eat it along with the fish. You just don't want to see pieces in it. So that's why it's going this way. Now you see? Okay. I'm going to let it cook for a little bit. Then it will be good for the, the water. Okay, now, come, come closer. Now, Look, this GB soup is cooked, but it's not GB soup yet. It's just a plain pepper soup. So, what to make it GB GB? This is it now. The water that I told you earlier. This is the time the water come in. Okay. So, come closer. The water I ain't doing measurement because um, it's already. I got a huge pot here, so I don't know how much I'm going to make it. So I just, I will do it little by little. You don't want to just dump your water in a pot one time, no. You want to do it little by little. Because the thing here, if you just dump the whole thing there, you're going to have a, a, just a slimy soup. That will not be what you want, but for me, I want it to be the real GB soup. So I gotta put it there little by little. And this thing crumbs, I mean, it, it tends to a crumbs too. So if you do it the right way, you're gonna have a big trunk in it, and that's not what you want. You want everything to be nice and smooth. All right, so that's what we're doing here. So you see, as I put in, I put a little bit, I stir up, I put a little bit, I stir up. It's not there yet. You got to go gently now because you got your fish in here and you got everything here cooked. So you don't just want to be stirring too hard. So now this stirring part, you got to be really gentle. So you can't break everything in here. You see? I think we are good. But well, let me see. Let me stay it up and see how it turned out to be. If it's not slippery enough, we will put a little bit. But from my view here, I think this is just what I'm looking for. You see how the GBC look? Very juicy and very, very rich. Everything is in here. 
My camera lady is watering all right, right now. <laughs> Now you see, this is it. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you. It was right here, spoon. This is my other magic. You see here, that's GB soup. You see how it look? Nice GB soup is made here. And we all did it together. I didn't do it your accent. I did everything in your present and we all did it together. So, Please and please and please watch the video, subscribe, and send me a comment on Facebook. If you got any comment, if you got any question, you can find me on Facebook, Coco Garte, K O K O G A R T E I. I'm on Facebook and uh, I'm on YouTube, YouTube. So please watch my channel and subscribe to it. You're going to see more video from me all the time. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. We're going to enjoy the GB and let's go.